So please, we welcome Hillary Blue Team Lions to the stage. Wearing a rainbow unicorn shirt and camouflage pants. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was like, listen, you do not have to pick a gender. Just pick a fucking pattern. <laughs> and then we were watching an old movie together. And after the movie was over, they turned to me and they're like, Mom, what was life like before color? <laughs> well, I guess it was better than before sound. Because we didn't have to use subtitles. And then they asked me, what's my favorite battery? Mm -hmm. Yeah, weird comment. Yeah, weird. Well, of course it's the one in my vibrator. <laughs> Duh. I mean, I guess nine volts are pretty cool. Put your tongue on. That's pretty fun. I mean, I try to be a good parent. I try to be a better parent than my parents were to me, which is not so difficult. Um, there are some parents out there who want, like, let their kids play with toy guns, for instance, like not even Nerf guns or um, water pistols or anything like that. And I kind of understand because like when I was a kid, I used to smoke candy cigarettes and then next thing you knew, I was shooting up behind the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I, I think that it's important as a parent, at least I do, to be open and honest with my kids about my sordid past. So I, I told them about like, you know, that I dropped out of college, for instance. Dropping out is like this really weird word that you can only use for school. Kind of like um, the word dollop is a measurement for only one thing. Sour cream, right, sour cream. Yeah. Everything else is a heaping table, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't say, oh, I'm dropping out of work. <laughs> what? Are, like, are you, did you get laid off? Are you fired? Oh, no, no, I'm just dropping out. I sent my boss an email and he's full of it. Like, you can't say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to, I'm dropping out of my marriage. Are you married? Are you separated? Are you getting a divorce? No, just dropped out. I sent my tax. We're fine. We're fine. Um, anyways, this whole, like, being um, open and honest with my kids about my past has made disciplining a little bit complicated. Uh, my teenage son's room was a total mess as it usually is, and I was giving him a hard time about it. And um, he was like, Mom, you did I only did a dollar. <laughs> so, I don't know. You know, like, back to my 10-year-old, we were, um, I, like a good Jew, I sent him to Hebrew school. And um, the last half hour, he's allowed to choose his elective. So they have choices like choir or Jewish yoga, which is less namaste or, and more oive. Yeah. He chooses Harry Potter and the Torah. <laughs> Harry Potter, what are they reading? Like, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Jew? <laughs> but it's OK because it's on his mother's side. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deadly Holiday where they try to kill all the Jews, and then we have a big, uh, they survive and have a big meal about it. In the Great Hall, each of the 12 tribes have a different table, where we read Fantastic Beasts, which ones are Kushan? <laughs> <laughs> or, I don't know, um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner from Auschwitz. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course, coming up. And my favorite, Harry Potter and the Gas Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm sorry for seeing you.